greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Today's thought is from Joel chapter 2 verse 26, last part of the verse, continuation of yesterday thought. I will read the last part of the verse. My people shall never be put to shame. Yesterday we saw that uh, you will praise the Lord because he has dealt with you in wondrously. He led you so far in the miraculous way. So you will praise the Lord. But today the last part of the verse says, My people shall never be put to shame. First of all, you are the people of God. Because you are the people of God, Bible says he will never put you into shame. You are a child of God. You are a son of Jesus Christ. You are the daughter of Jesus Christ. Because you are the daughter and sons of Jesus Christ, he will never put you into shame. Maybe many of you who is listening to this thought, Maybe you are, uh, you are a parent and you are having children. Will you never leave your children to go in a shameful experience? You will never do it. Will you allow something to come to your children to put them into shame? You will never allow those things in your children's life because you are their parents, right? You will take care of them. You will never allow your children to go through shameful experiences. The same way, He is our Heavenly Father. Jesus Christ is our Heavenly Father. We are the children of God. He will never allow His children to go through shameful experience. That's why the Bible says, My people shall never be put into shame. The Lord will never put you into shame. The Lord will honor your faith. So be encouraged. Uh, the Lord will do a miracle for you. Shall we do a word of prayer? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I pray for your children. Lord, they should not be ashamed anywhere lord in their workplace honor them among the uh, relatives among the family members lord you lift them up lord you honor them lord lord jesus in their ministry lord they should not be put into shame lord you honor your servants oh god lord they are praying waiting and doing ministry help them lord encourage them lord lord jesus many people they are praying and waiting for a miracle they should not be put into shame lord jesus lord i pray lord do a miracle and honor them lift them up lord let them rejoice in you lord help them lord let their sorrow be turned into joy soon, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Out of their mouth, praises is going to come. Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord. Many people's sorrow is going to turn into joy soon. Thank you, Lord. Be with them. Bless them and encourage them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Very soon, God will turn your sorrow into joy. Amen.